Hi all, we will see the this keyword in Java. Now this is a reference which is created automatically by the compiler and it is used by the compiler. So this reference is used to indicate attributes of method invoking object. So suppose if I call some method obj dot fun, then inside the fun method definition I can refer the attributes of this obj object using this reference. This, using this I can refer to the instance variables of the class, I can refer to the constructors or methods of the class. Now we did not to use this, key, uh, this keyword or this reference explicitly, but there are few exceptional cases where we need to use this explicitly. So which are the cases where we need to use it explicitly? First case is something like this. Suppose there is one class student, in student class you have one instance variable age and inside a constructor also you are taking parameter with the same name. So this is instance variable, this is local variable. So in that case instance variable gets shadowed by the local variable. So if you want to overcome that shadowing then you will write this dot age equals to age. So when I say this dot age it is instance variable and when I write simply age it is local variable. So it is used to overcome the shadowing of the local variable. Second case where the this keyword is used is for constructor chaining. In Java we can call one constructor of a class from other constructor. So how to call that constructor? If I want to call parameterized constructor from default constructor this is the way. In default constructor I have written this and I am passing the parameter which will give call to the parameterized constructor of the same class. Now in this slide one more example is shown where there is one class which is this example class. It has one default constructor, it has one parameterized constructor. There are two methods which are written, one is greet method, other is print method. In the print method one variable is there which is num variable. That means this variable is same as that of instance variable name. Now let us see the next code. Here what we are doing, here I am printing the value of num and this dot num, so local variable and instance variable. In main method, I am creating the objects, I am creating two different objects of this example class and I am calling the print method. So what will be the output in this case? So we will see the output by implementing this program. This is a demonstration on this reference. I have one class which is this example in that one instance variable is num with 10 value. Default constructor is there. Inside default constructor some message is printed. Parameterized constructor is there. In parameterized constructor I am calling default constructor by this syntax. I can do that using this keyword. And now it is called as constructor chaining. Second statement is assigning value of local variable num to this dot num. Here local variable and instance variable are having same names. So if I want to assign local variable to instance variable, I will write this dot num equals to num. Then greet is a method which is printing some message and after that print is a method which is again having one local variable with the same name. In the print method, I am printing local variable as well as I am printing instance variable num. Then I call some greet method. So greet method is called as this dot greet. So if I want to call the method of the same class, it is called using this syntax. In main method, I am creating two objects obj1, obj2. So first is using default constructor, second is using parameterized constructor. So as of now we will run this code for object 1 and I will check the output. For object 1 default constructor is called, in the default constructor I have written nothing but 10 value is assigned here. So instance variable num is 10 and in the print method local variable num is 20. Now let me uncomment this part of code. For obj2 it will call parameterized constructor. In the parameterized constructor 
I am calling the default constructor and then I am assigning this dot num equals to num. So 30 will get assigned to instance variable which is coming from here. So I print that in print method. So print method will print first local variable num which is 20 and then instance variable num which is 30. So this will be the output for given code snippet. 